In this example, I'm going to show you how to reduce the power consumption of your VMware ESX host using a rather nice new feature that came out in VMware vSphere called Dynamic Voltage and Frequency Scaling, or DVFS for short. Now, you can see in my example here, I'm running a HP ProLiant ML110G5 with an Intel Xeon CPU on board. This is the uh, dual core model I have here. So on the left hand side here, you can see I've got a selection of VMs, but currently I've only got three spun up and they're currently consuming a total of 281 megahertz of CPU uh, resource. So uh, what we want to do is enable the DVFS to reduce the amount of uh, power consumed by my server. So to do that, so let's click on the configuration tab and what you can see here when we click on processes you've got the uh, details that we saw on the front summary screen so as we saw before running an Intel Xeon now the two parameters we're interested in here are the power management technology and the power management policy settings uh, the power management technology settings see here uh, says enhance Intel speed step which means that the ESX host has picked up that the underlying uh, server or CPU has got the uh, enhanced uh, Intel speed step um, power saving technology on board and it's enabled. Now this is something to look out for because some servers when you get them by default this uh, power saving technology is turned off in the BIOS so all you have to do is boot the server, go into the BIOS and enable it there. If it's not enabled at all it won't show up uh, here at all. So the second uh, parameter here is the power management policy and as you can see that's currently set to static. Um, now there are two possible values for this, they're static and dynamic. Um, by default, as mentioned, static is the, uh, uh, the, the standard, but what we want to do is change that to dy dynamic. So to do that, we want to click on the advanced settings button here, and this opens up the second window, and as you can see, a number of different parameter uh, categories that you can uh, jump into there to tweak your ESX host. Um, the one we're looking at, uh, or want to look at, is the power settings, and in this uh, window here you can see three pro possible parameters uh, that can be changed. The first one, maximum CPU load. Now what this is, this, this parameter here, I mean uh, I keep that standard that's set to 60 by default and all that's telling the ESX host uh, or DVFS is that don't do anything uh, if the CPU utilization is over 60% so if it drops below 60 then start doing your thing have a look to see whether you can scale back the uh, frequency on the CPU uh, like I said, I keep that as the default. The second setting I have never actually changed before. Um, I, I would recommend keeping that at the default. Uh, that's just the sampling rate at which the um, uh, power management goes out to uh, sample the uh, CPU uh, frequency. Now the parameter we're interested in is this third one here, which is the power.cpu policy. And like you can see, currently set to static. So what we want to do is change that to dynamic like so. Now the good thing with this, uh, these settings here, you don't need to reboot your ESX host for them to take effect at all. As soon as you click the OK button there, there's a couple of seconds whilst it uh, uh, does its thing and then the um, new um, parameters take hold. Now let's have a look to see what the, uh, the ESX host is currently consuming. Like you can see it's uh, currently consuming around about 79, 80 watts of power. So let's click the OK button here. Okay, you see a, a temporary spike once it uh, goes up and does its thing. Now, yep, as you can see, the amount of power uh, now being drawn by the server has now dropped to 73, 74 watts of power. So that's a saving of 5 to 6 watts uh, in total. Um, that might not sound a lot uh, just on this one server, but if you're running a data center with hundreds or possibly thousands of um, um, ESX hosts, uh, that soon adds up and could save you a potential... Um, uh, quite a bit of money, so um, definitely a very good setting. Like I say, comes out with uh, it came out with vSphere or ESX version four, and literally through a few clicks of a button, you can actually uh, reduce the power consumption of your ESX uh, host or uh, ESX farm.